Order. Question is Secretary of State for the Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, James Wilde. Number one, sir. Of State. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. You've got me, I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> We are already working with our partners to take action to protect and enhance precious chalk streams, and they are precious habitats. Uh, this includes reforming abstraction, improving water quality through the Environment Agency's Water Industry National Environment Programme, and legislating to support these measures. However, uh, as I mentioned, um, with reference uh, to a round table uh, that I ran this week with water companies, chalk streams are absolutely vital. We have to do something about looking after them, and we will be hosting a conference on this on October the 16th. James Wilde. Uh, grateful for that reply. Last year, water companies discharged sewage into our precious chalk streams and rivers in northwest Norfolk and across the country 200,000 times. I welcome my honourable friend's efforts to tackle this unacceptable level. Will she instruct the Environment Agency to take more enforcement action and also commit that the new powers in the Environment Bill will be used to set tough, legally binding targets? I thank you for that question. We know that, of course, effective regulation is the key to preventing pollution impacting on water quality, and that's why we have a range of enforcement and sanction options open to the Environment Agency. We do expect that they're used wherever necessary. Uh, but we do also expect water companies to set out how they will manage sewerage discharges through the drainage and wastewater management plans. However, I acknowledge that further action is necessary, uh, particularly on sewage pollution and combined sewage outlets. And uh, this was what I referenced in that roundtable earlier this week, and more work will be going.